friends of the show that never ends. It doesn't even end uh, when I'm away from the studios. I'm aboard Princess Mitchie with my mate Franksy. Yes, no? And we're off down to uh, Weymouth to have Princess Mitchie filmed for a series called Aquaholic, um, which will be going on YouTube. It's not part of Ustream. It's, uh, it's a company called Aquaholic. A nice guy who goes around and, uh, and goes on people's boats. <laughs> if you pardon the expression but I'm looking at the news today and the biggest headline apart from Boris and all that other bollocks that's still going on it's crazy isn't it it is saying that Elton John is now backing uh, Philip Schofield if you pardon the expression Elton John uh, is, uh, is a gay man I think he's married to uh, David Furnish I met them once they're quite nice people as you know we used to do jokes about Elton John because he sort of came out didn't he he, he didn't suddenly big announcement he he suddenly just said he's gay, and everyone knew anyway. Um, and and I love his song, Rocket Man, don't you? I, if you listen to the song Rocket Man, it's about alcohol and drugs, isn't it? I'm going to be high as a kite by then. I miss the earth so much, I miss my wife. Well, there you go. It's all about that. It's a very, very, very poignant, interesting song. But now he's saying uh, about his pal, Philip Schofield, uh, that it would not have made the headlines if it had been a heterosexual type thing. You know, Elton's very good and raised lots of money for AIDS and everything. But I think, Elton, Reg, you're missing the point a little bit. This is not about homophobia. This is about Philip Schofield lying about everything. Um, and, and, you know, why should he have to tell us everything about his life? So he's having an affair with a much younger man. And you're comparing him with Leonardo Di Capolini who has an affair with much younger women. Well, I, I don't know the answer to that. I've never had an affair with a man. I've never had an affair with really younger women. Not really, not since I was young myself. I remember when all that Operation Utree stuff was going on. Uh, I said to the reporters, uh, the only 15 year old girl I've ever slept with was when I was 14. Not thinking that that's a headline. Jim Davidson sleeps with 15 year old. I was 14. I always remember that my mate Lenny Biles said your willy gets bigger after you've had you've given someone the good news and so when I did eventually give someone the good news so this girl I love to this day God bless her for taking the quarry so I got off the bus in Eltham and went in the toilets and had a look at it to see if it had grown I'm still looking to this day anyway let's just see what Elton is saying here in the in the mail which is quite in an interview with BBC's Amal Rajin, uh, Philip Schofield, 61, he lost everything after admitting to the affair. So, admitting to the affair, he lost everything. So he must have plucked up courage to think, right, I'm going to lose everything. I'll admit to this. That's probably why he kept it quiet. Do you know, this is the same thing with Michael Barrymore. Have I said this before? But dear old Michael's a funny guy. He's a nice guy. He, he, he said to me once, come up to Edinburgh and come and see my play. He was playing Spike Milligan in a play, so I went all the, slept all the way up to Edinburgh to see him, went to see it, and I got a message from backstage saying, Michael's tired, he's going to bed. So that's what he thought of me, and so I, that's what I thought of his play as well. I went to bed straight afterwards. Um, Mr. Schofield alleged homophobia had been part to play in the negative response to the relationships. Well, really, Philip, is that it? Are you playing the gay card? Do people play these cards? Um, we'll talk about some of the cards. Elton John, famous for his uh, candle in the wind, lesbian in a storm, I always used to call that. Well, he said, it's all going pear-shaped in America. There's violence, discriminatory laws enact. There's a law now that if you visit a doctor in Florida, they can refuse to treat you if you're gay, which I just find unbelievable. Well, don't tell them. I mean, that's the thing. You want to get yourself treated rather than just battle against it. Don't go, hello, you better treat me, otherwise I'm going to go and call the boat. No. Not all gay people are like that. It's crazy. Uh, but why do people play the card? Let's have a, another look at stuff that's going on at the moment. Stop and search. I, I, I watch GB News quite a lot now, only because I want to see Ustream's advert. It's fantastic, isn't it? Eh? we got another one going on there soon. Oh, don't forget, all you people here, press the subscribe button on YouTube. I understand if things are a bit tough and you don't want to join Ustream, but, but subscribe to this channel. We do little bits, you know, six minutes here and 20 minutes on Ustream. Um, 
but I get that. Uh, but if you think that £4.79 or whatever it is per month, that includes the VAT, you can't, I went in a pub last night and a pint was six quid. Yeah, mind you, I only need a pint and I'm pissed. It's funny, isn't it? So, so you can join, you can have a month of me, Chubby Brown, Freddie Starr, all the stuff, three live shows, left, right and centre with Miles Crawford, Bobby Davro, all the guys, right? Plus the new comedians with Jimmy Jones, Mick Miller, the great funny guys, you can all have that for the price of, you have one pint less per month and you can have that deep joy and tell everyone that you're a, a Ustream member. Okay, what I'm going to go and do now is talk about Stop and Search and David Lammy. The two go hand in hand, don't they? Uh, but first of all, what is all this bollocks about Boris? It is absolutely crazy. Tell you what, let's help get all the people that will benefit from him not being there and banning him and hoping he'll go away forever because if he comes back and runs the Tory party, the Labour are going to get it and flop it up the after flop. Oh yes, deep joy for this. So we now go to Ustream. Come and join us. Oh, blimey. Don't start singing like that. I'll never be able to see a doctor in Florida. Okay, let's turn the page. This Friday, go you ahead and watch Jeffro. Hmm. And Denzel came in the pub last week carrying a bloody great dog He said, look at what I nearly stepped in. Jeffro, go you ahead. Hmm. Streaming exclusively on Ustream this Friday.